Hello guys, today we will be installing uh, IntelliJ ID to a Windows 10 machine with Java. So before we go to install, please make sure that you have Java JDK installed in your machine. Uh, let me check it. Uh, in a search bar type CMD uh, and command prompt pops up. Then uh, type uh, Java, Java hi space hyphen version. As you can see, I have already installed Java in my machine. So if you don't have installed Java in your uh, machine, it doesn't work. So I have a video on how to install Java JDK in my YouTube channel. I will put link in the description part of this video. If you don't have installed, please go to that link and install this prerequisite. So I'm closing this one and let's start installing IntelliJ. So First, we have to download IntelliJ from its website. For, uh, open your browser uh, and type google.com. In the Google, type IntelliJ. As you can see from the first link, uh, IntelliJ IDEA, the Java ID for professional developers by JetBrains. Uh, you, you will see the official websites, www.jetbrains.com. Click on that link. Okay, I'm gonna, yes, I agree. Then uh, from the main page, you will see download button here. Click on download button. Uh, as you can see here, we have two versions of IntelliJ, Ultimate and Community. This Ultimate is paid version, it's not free. You can try for 30 days for free, but after 30 days you have to pay. And it has many features, a lot of features here, as you can see uh, in the left side. But community version, uh, it is open source, free, but it has less features. Uh, for now, today, uh, we're gonna install community version because it's enough for uh, Java developers to write codes. So uh, I'm clicking on download button. As you can see, it started downloading uh, IntelliJ.exe file and please wait, it's gonna take some time to download. I'm pausing video and I will back. So guys, I have, my machine have completed downloading uh, the exe file and I'm clicking on that one. Also, you can go to your downloads folder and launch from there. I'm just shortcut and launching from directly from my uh, browser. Click yes. So welcome to IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition setup. Setup will guide you through the installation of the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Uh, click on next. And here you have to provide the uh, location to install this program. So it can install in programs files, uh, JetBrains, IntelliJ. Uh, so so it's gonna install, let me check one second. Yes, yeah, C program files, JetBrains, uh, and IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Yeah, I'm gonna leave as it is. If you wanted to install the different location, uh, click on browser and provide that, that location. But for now, uh, I'm gonna leave it as default. Click on next. Uh, so, create desktop shortcut. Yes, let's create shortcut for the desktop. And uh, update context menu at open folder as project. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Create associations Java Groovy KT No. I'm gonna leave it as it is because I don't want to create associations. Update path variable restart needed. So at launcher dear. No, I'm not gonna do that one. And I'll click on next. Uh, select the start menu folder in which you would like to create the program to shortcuts. You can also enter the name and create a new folder. So I'm gonna uh, leave it as it is. I'm gonna click on install button. Now, as you can see, it is starting to install IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. 
in my Windows 10 machine. I'm gonna pause my video and I will be back. Woohoo! So guys, we have finished installing IntelliJ into our Windows 10 machine. And so uh, I'm gonna check this box, run IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition and I'm gonna uh, click on finish button. Now uh, it is uh, launching IntelliJ. So guys, uh, import IntelliJ IDEA settings from config installation folder and do not, I'm gonna uh, pr I, I'm gonna select do not import settings since I don't have IntelliJ uh, before installed so I select the second option and click OK button uh, this is a user agreement uh, if you want you can read this agreement and if you are agree uh, you have to select this option I confirm I confirm that I have read and accept the terms of this user agreement and uh, click on continue button so uh, here usually uh, I select don't send uh, here IntelliJ is offering us uh, two types of uh, theme the first one is a dark cola which is a dark theme and the second one is the light theme usually I prefer the light one so I'm gonna select the light team and and what you can do skip remaining and set defaults so it is launching so guys uh, this is the next step uh, here we have several options create new project import project open check out from the version control so here I'm gonna uh, create the new project click on that and uh, here we have the in left side of the bar we have different options Java Java FX Android Maven Gradle so I'm gonna create the simple java project and here project sdk we have to provide the pass for uh, installed java jdk so if you click these options it is automatically selected uh, those my already installed java jdk if it doesn't show anything for you guys uh, please make sure you have the java jdk even though if you java jdk uh, you can create the new button and select the pass for your uh, installation pass folder of your java jdk so i am gonna to click on next button here i have uh, create project from template command line app i'm gonna click this one and you can select this one if you wanted to create the project from the template but uh, i'm gonna click on next so give the project name i'm gonna give project name as my first project my first project and project location gonna be c users my username uh, idea projects my first project that's good and click on finish mm, tip of the day so every time every day whenever you open the IntelliJ it's gonna give you the tips every day if you want you can read it. it's actually very good tips uh, for now I'm gonna close it so guys uh, here the next section is I'm gonna maximize and I'm gonna double click on the my first project if you double click it will show uh, those folders it's my first project and if you click on that one it has uh, folders under it it's dot idea and src on the src uh, I'm gonna let's create one small project uh, small uh, 
small let's let's say first our hello world uh, software so right click uh, under SRC yeah on the SRC right click new and click on Java class give the Java class name uh, let's say hello world one second hello hello world app hello world app okay uh, and then press enter so guys we created the hello world app class under src under my first project uh, from here let's create main project and print out something so guys so uh, I'm gonna press enter and here I'm gonna type I'm gonna create the main method so to create main method uh, you can type uh, public static mm, public static void main and it will suggest you as you can see here uh, it's uh, main method and click and press enter now we created main method inside the main method we're gonna create uh, we're gonna print out hello world so uh, let's sys s out as you can see it gonna suggest uh, the suggest the method to print out some sentence so s out and click enter system dot out dot print ln uh, and type here hello hello world this is my first project and then right click uh, run hello world app main click on that option it is now building my software and it's gonna now print out whatever we provided inside the system that I'll print LN. As you can see, hello world. This is my first project. Also, you can run from here. Whenever 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 you click on this run button, it will print out. Hello world, this is my first project. So thank you guys for watching my videos. If you really really liked my video, please don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm gonna provide new videos on Java, uh, on Java and other programming language. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, see you later. Have a wonderful day.